Next up, we have Diego Marin. He's in the Genetics, Genomics, and Cancer Biology program. He works in the lab of Richard Scott. And um, the title of his talk is, A Test That Puts Art on the Fridge. So first of all, I would like you to take a look at those two fridges. I don't know you, but for me the difference is obvious. When I look at that one to the right, the colorful one, I can even listen to the screams and yelling of, go to your room or do your homework. Now the other fridge, on the other hand, the empty one, silence and peace. But that empty fridge could also tell a story, and a very tough one. For example, a story of a negative pregnancy test after the other one, or probably constant failure of in vitro fertilization cycles. And it could be tougher, it could be more painful. For example, recurring miscarriages or pregnancy losses. And it is very hard to understand how hard it could get, especially for people who already have children, or someone like me who's just busy building our career right now. So, but for those of you who have that colorful fridge at home, or whoever had it, could you picture it empty? Well, that is the case of 15% of our population, meaning that one in seven of us will face that problem eventually. Now, infertility affects both men and women equally, and it gets worse the older we get. But for women, it's particularly difficult because if they want to spend more time building a career, or maybe postponing um, motherhood after six years of grad school, it's not easy. So what can we do? to fix that problem. At least I focus on that guy in the middle, and that is how you and I look like when we were five days old. We call it an embryo. So it's beautiful and well-shaped as it may look, because by experience I can tell you, this one is a very good looking one. About 80% of these embryos are abnormal and defective by the time a woman reaches 42 years of age. So my whole work and the focus of my work is to try to understand what's wrong with that embryo. Why did it result in a miscarriage? or why did it end up in a healthy pregnancy? And by literally taking and analyzing small pieces of it, I've been working on developing a test that assesses not only how healthy the embryo is, but also its fitness, so that we can gather that information and we can select the one best embryo to be used in an infertility treatment. So by just simply doing that, not only have we dramatically decreased the risk for miscarriages, but we have also shortened the time to, of treatment, which is not a pleasant one. But most importantly, we have significantly increased the chances from getting from this fridge to the other one. Because the more we understand those guys in the middle, the more art we can put in a fridge. Thank you. Thank you, Diego.